llegamos en Madrid. How you feel? Huh? What's time? Here. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. What about home? Twelve a.m. That means we're very tired people. So this will be when we don't. Six in the morning. Long line. <laughs> Just to get to the baggage. This is a uh, unexpected. Okay, it's time for the obligatory uh, hotel room video. The bellboy brought up the uh, luggage already. Las maletas, so equipajes. This is the bathroom. The room is not that big. But it's okay, it's a nice room. Pretty clean, nice hardwood floors. This guy trying to ask me for uh, like $42 for breakfast though. 42 euros, sorry, which is probably like almost 60 of my dollars. That won't be happening. It is, what is it, about 10 o'clock right now? 9.30? Still pretty, uh, still pretty lively over here. I'm not sure the name of the street. Maybe Genova, Calle de Genova. We're close to that. Pretty dope. breakfast hall here as you can see very elegant very upscale and clean this nice wooden decor pretty nice pretty nice have a lot of different tasty items as you can see sausages salchichas tatas verduras Beautiful alleyway. Callejito, maybe it's called. I don't know. Sorry, my Spanish speaking friends. In este momento, estamos caminando a la tienda de Huawei. Huawei is a uh, uh, mobile phone, if you didn't know already. Because my mobile phone, the other one, clearly, the lens is broken. So, we are taking a 20 minute walk to a very uh, upscale neighborhood here in Madrid in order to have this fixed. And this is the street that I must turn on, so I'll be back. I don't see any of my faves. 
Dolce & Gabbana garden. That's my favorite right now. This one. That's my favorite right now. They change, but. Mm. Walking around downtown Madrid. I don't, I don't know what this crowd, this commotion is. This must be the party spot though. Is it me or is everybody over there like 20 years old? Maybe this wasn't the spot. I don't know what, I don't know what this is that we walking up on. But uh, we're having a good old time. So we are at Salem. Uh, Vega. Vega. And you have what? Mushroom croquettes. Looks good. It's like a falafel. Mm -hmm. Say me one. And you have what? Some kind of orange drink? Yep. Oh, that's it. But, uh, this is vegan ceviche with uh, noodles and sweet potato, sweet potatoes, mushroom. Mm -hmm. And this is just some pineapple juice that was in this bottle. But uh, so far, it's good. Okay, subway time. Trying to figure out how this works. We need a day pass. And uh, we're going to figure that out. You ready, babe? Huh? Yeah. Let's see what they say before. It's going to be nice and beautiful and, you know, all of these things. That smell down here ain't beautiful, though. Ta da! She was doing some kind of dance. And she just doing her squats. This one, always tired. <laughs> the Palacio de Cristal, Crystal Palace. Thought I saw this in some movie. Can't put my finger on it, like some action movie. Maybe like a low budget action movie or something like that. I can't really remember. I'll tell you one thing though. It is stupid hot in here. Like I'm not a scientist, maybe you know, some with the glass or being enclosed in here like that. It is seriously hot. I broke a sweat as soon as I walked in here. <laughs> Building is made of glass. It's like really, really hot in here, but it's really beautiful. Can't touch anything. I'm gonna try to get some good pictures. All right. Central Museum of Art, right? Is that? Museo de Arte Centro or something like that. Look at this. He's schooling them. Look, come on, what you think he's saying? What you think he's telling them? Like, yo, you let your girl wear no clothes out here like that, yo? <laughs> look, she ain't listening at all, even look. Stubborn, just like yo. <laughs> but he got the Philly finger too, you saw. Like, yo, dog. <laughs> I'm not really in the dark art, but uh, kind of like that. It says something. It's like. She got something in that box. 
like something that she would have hand off or get out of her life, give to somebody else. Like I think the shadow is like representative of some kind of shame. And it looks like she's just trying to hand it over. Did that. So is this like about colonization or something? Where like this is what their life used to be like? And then after that, it's like uh, everything they had was torn away. And then they turned like subjugated to uh, captors or colonizers or conquerors or whatever. Just to represent. So they can be in there telling you about stuff, trying to explain soap to you and you don't understand what they're talking about? I know what I want. Trust me, every piece of vocabulary they about to tell you, I do not know. I know what I want. When they start talking about biochemicals from Venezuela and all this stuff, I'm not going to know, so. I know what I want. All right. Unless it is. Valencia. 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 